Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, we're going to go through Google Ad structures and how to structure your Google Ads campaigns. So this is probably the number one thing that we always get from other agencies. People come to us from other agencies, and this this they have this problem. Their campaigns are not structured correctly. They have one ad group with 50 keywords in it, or they have um, you know five ad groups with a bunch of random keywords in each ad group, and then one ad for each ad group. So there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. So in this video, I am just going to walk you through the proper, correct structure to build all of your campaigns. All right, so we're going to take it step by step. So the first step, you have your campaign. All right, this is your overall, your whole campaign here. Now below your campaign, inside your campaign, you have your ad groups. Okay, so you have ad group one, ad group two, ad group three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want as many ad groups as you can possibly have. Okay, the more ad groups, the better. Now. What you're looking at here is an example we're using as a, a roofing campaign. So this is how the ad groups are going to be laid out. So each ad group is going to be its own theme. Okay, so ad group one is roof repairs. So all of the keywords that go into this ad group, if you come down here, under inside your ad group are your keywords. The only keywords we're going to have in ad group one are have to do with roof repair. Nothing about roof replacement, installation, contractors, um, roof repair, city name. None of that goes in here, okay? Just straight up roof repair keywords. So roof repair plus, you know, whatever you want to put in the end of that. Services, company, anything like that, all right? So that's important to understand. Below the keywords, you have you should have three ads per ad group, all right? This is my rule of thumb. You can really have as many as you want. I've seen people have, you know, 10. It doesn't really matter as long as you're switching it up a little bit. So inside, so you have ad group one, roof repairs. Inside of that ad group, we have our roof repair keywords, and that goes to our roof repair ads. So in each ad, you want to talk about exclusively roof repair, how you can help the person searching for roof repair, how you how you can get a crew out to their house to take a look at, give them a free estimate, whatever your your pitch is. Okay, so you're gonna have two, you're gonna have two text ads inside ad group one, and one responsive search ad. Now, if you don't know what responsive search ads are, I'm going to, if you just look at the top right now, okay, it should just flash across. I'm going to well, have to direct you to a video to watch, and you should be able to learn all about responsive search ads and how they work and stuff like that. They're essentially, you're letting Google's algorithm, you're, you're inputting a bunch of different headlines, and Google's algorithm is just combining them all in all these crazy combinations and kind of figuring out which combination converts the highest and gives the best results, and then keeps doing that for you and auto like auto adjusting your ads so you want to have one responsive search ad in every ad group in my opinion okay so I usually do two text ads two regular text ads with all of the fields filled out make sure you fill out everything and one responsive search ad now again in all of these ads in ad group one they're only going to talk about solving the roof repair issue that the person is searching for all right and that all of these ads are going to go to a landing page that is talking specifically about roof repair Right now, you can. So, I mean, take this with a grain of salt, all right? Because even myself, I do. I don't really break up every ad group into its own landing page. Obviously, that is extremely time-consuming and stuff. So you can get away with having one landing page to cover a few topics, but you definitely want to have, like, for roof replacement, you want to have a specific landing page for replacement, all right? So the, you gotta you gotta take it with you know use your head a little bit, all right? You gotta you, you can't just lump all of the services into one landing page. I mean, you can, but I don't recommend that. It's better for quality score wise and for conversion wise if you break these ad groups up into different landing pages. So ad group one, we have roof repair, we have our roof repair keywords, our roof repair ads going to a landing page talking about getting a roofer out on your for repairs on your house or your building or whatever to get a free estimate or whatever your hook is. All right. So that should be how your ad groups are structured. Ad group one, we have all of our, our themed. It should be a theme. The whole ad group's a theme straight through. Ad group two, roof replacement. Inside ad group two, what are we doing? We're doing only keywords about roof replacement. That's it, nothing else. Text ad one, text ad two, responsive search ad, all about roof replacement, not about anything else. Going to a landing page, talking about roof replacement. Getting some, you know, your unique selling position. You wanna, you wanna have this landing page laid out to solve the person's problem. That's how you're gonna get the 40% conversion rates. Somebody searching Google, they're seeing your they're searching Google for roof replacement. They're seeing your ad talking about solving a roof replacement issue. All right. Hey, we can we can replace your roof for we do financing, we do this, we're master certified, whatever, it doesn't really matter. They click your ad, come to a landing page, repeating all the same talking points you're talking about in your ad. That's called message match. 
And that is how you really win in Google Ads. You have to have a straight up, straight through message match. So ad group two, roof replacement, all of our stuff, nice neat line. That's all. Ad group three, roof installation. So all our roof installation keywords are here. Roof installation ads, going to a landing page, talking about installing new roofs, something like that, or re-roofing your house. I mean, you got to be careful because these are kind of similar, but, you know, roof example, not everything's going to play out like this. There's different markets for different things. But so you can do ad group four. It could be something like, let's say, uh, let's say this guy's in Philly, the roofer, right? So you can do Philadelphia roofers or Philadelphia roof repairs. You can go granular like that. So you have ad group four, Philadelphia roof repairs. Keywords all about Philadelphia roof repairs, roof repair services, roof repair company, roof repair quotes. Roof repair estimates, Philadelphia, Philadelphia roof repair, I should say. <laughs> Make sure you do that. And then all of your text ads are going to be about Philadelphia, Philadelphia roof repairs. Going to a landing page, talking specifically about Philadelphia roofing repairs in Philadelphia. All right, you kind of get what I'm, what I'm going with here. So just take a look at this graphic. This is how your campaigns should be structured. All right, this is the basic, the raw. There's a lot of other things that go into campaigns. I know negative keywords, ad extensions, all that stuff. But ignore that for right now. I'm just talking about structuring your Google Ads campaigns. This should be the basic structure for all of your campaigns. Okay. Now let's go take a look into one of our demo accounts here, which is Mobile Glass Repair. So this is for like the, the guys who um, go out to your car and they replace your windshields while you're at work and stuff like that. They do all kinds of uh, window repair stuff. I don't know why it's freezing up right now. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's sort that. Auto glass repair, so that's a skag. That's a. If you want to know what a skag is, it's a single keyword ad group. And flashing up at the top of the screen right now should be a video where I go through how to do skags and all of, uh, all of that good stuff. You can check that video out if you want. Now let's go into car window repair. See how the ad group structured? Car window repair. Car window replacement. That shouldn't be in there. <laughs> Car window repair estimate, car window repair service, car window repair quote, car window replace. See, these, these replacements should be in their own ad group. So even I don't follow my own rules most of the time. <laughs> Let's get those out of there. So those should be in their own ad group, car window replacement. But you can see here, window repair, window repair, or window estimate, repair estimate, repair service, repair quote. That's how you're supposed to do it. Now, like the match types for the keywords is a whole different animal. I'm just kind of laying out the structure for you guys. If you um, if you want to learn more about the match types, you can actually go to our YouTube channel, and I have a whole playlist dedicated to how to use keyword match types in Google Ads and set them up to win. So I actually don't know if this campaign is actually okay. So we're missing a responsive search ad, but you can see here we have three ads. So these are text ads, three text ads, and you should have if you go into the text ad, you should have all of your fields filled out so important please make sure you do that now if we go back we'll go through a responsive search ad real quick i'll show you and i'll make another video for call ad responsive search ad this is what it looks like so you're basically just setting up all these headlines here so as many as possible that's for a different campaign you can do like bb be accredited or or whatever you just keep adding until it tells you you can't add anymore and also that goes for descriptions too so you keep adding hit save and that's uh gonna let google just kind of burn through and just optimize and show and only show the best combinations of your of your headlines and descriptions so that's really important but that's pretty much it all right so that's how you should structure your campaigns this isn't really a long video it's it's kind of simple we just go back to this graphic right here and you know what, I'll just take a screenshot and just drop this in the description of the video just so you guys can have something to open up and actually physically look at. Um, but this is it. It's the most important part, I cannot stress this enough in Google, is relevancy. And this is how you get hyper-relevant campaigns. Roof repairs, roof repair keywords, roof repair text ads, roof repair landing pages. Very, very repetitive, but this is how you got this is how you win in Google Ads, guys. All right. So if you have any questions about how to structure your campaigns or anything, just drop them in the comments below in this video. And don't forget to click the red button to the bottom right and subscribe to our channel because we drop how to videos almost every day now. And um, besides that, I will see you guys in the next video.